A multiple V-belt drive is required to transmit 4 kilowatts from a motor to an aircraft control surface. A smaller pulley of the system is 150 millimeter diameter and rotates at 200 revs per minute. The groove angle is 40 degrees and the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.3. If the maximum tension in any one belt is limited to 800 newtons and the angle of lap is 135 degrees, you are asked to determine the number of belts required to transmit this power. I've highlighted the pertinent information and we can use this information then to calculate the uh, required power. So for example we were told that the angle of lap was 135 degrees. That is always the angle on the smaller pulley. So 135 degrees in terms of radians and we just get 135 as a fraction of 360 and multiply it by 2 pi to bring us uh, to radians. So I have 135 divided by 360 and then I'm going to multiply that then by 2 and multiply by pi and gives me 3 quarters pi which is 2.35 6. So I get 2.356. The next bit of information we were told is that the smaller pulley of the system is 150 millimeters diameter. That means that okay, I have a radius of 75 millimeters and it rotates at 200 revs per minute. Well to bring revs per minute to revs per second I'm going to divide by 60. I'm going to multiply that by 2 pi and that should give me 20.94 radians per second. Okay, so I have, let's do it this way, so I have 200 over 60 uh, over 60 and I'm going to multiply that by 2 pi and that gives me 20.943 which is what I have here. Okay, the next bit of information we have is regarding the groove angle. We're told that the groove angle is 40 degrees. So that's this angle here of the V-belt. And alpha in the equation we're eventually going to use is this angle here, which is half of the groove angle. So we can say that alpha is 20 degrees. Okay, so we're told the angle of lap is 135 degrees and we calculated that to be 2.356 radians from the formula we know that the ratio of tension on one side to the tension on the other side of, of the belt is equal to e to the power of mu theta cosecant alpha. So T1 was 800 newtons, uh, E, well it's just Euler's number, 0 0.3 was the coefficient of friction, that was something we were given, 2.356 we calculate that to be the theta and radians and we saw that alpha was 20 degrees so we need to get the cosecant of that. So when we multiply that out we get that T2 is equal to 101. The power then of transmitted by the belt is T1 minus T2 times V but V is the velocity of the belt as it goes around. Let's plug in the numbers so T1 is 800 we were given that T2 is 101, we calculated that, and V is equal to omega R, and omega we saw um, was 200 over 60 multiplied by 2 pi times 0 0.075, which is 1.57 meters per second. So when I put in the velocity then and multiply it by the, um, 800 minus 101, I get that the, each belt can transmit 1 0.97 kilowatts. So if we were asked to transmit 4 kilowatts then we need to divide 4 by 1.097 and that gives me 3.64. We can't have 0.64 of a belt so therefore we need 4 belts so the answer is 4 belts.